um, it was my great-great-grandfather. So being fourth-generation farmers, um, like I said, there's six of us. We're a very large family. Um, my brothers and I have, have really stayed on the orchard, my oldest sister as well, too. It's really cool to hold on to those, those roots and, and really keep our feet you know, planted to the ground and, and to still walk in the footprints of what he was doing. With having the wine here, it's almost a great hybrid of the style of making the wine, but with the carbonation of what a beer would be as well too. So it kind of meets in the middle where it's ours, we don't add any sugar to. So it's, it's all the natural juice that we use here from the orchard, um, and then we ferment it, and we use other varieties of apples to what we call back sweeten, to use for a higher sugar content. So without having to add anything like that, I mean, it's, it, it's really cool to tell people that it never leaves this facility. We had to restore our great-grandfather's press. I Everything know. is like made like 100 feet that way. I know the Amits really well. <laughs> that first time that we actually gave a glass to all of our first-time consumers, they kind of just, stood still and like what is this you know usually we're used to these different hard ciders that are just you know inundated with with the and saturated with sugars and this has got that kind of light crisp feel almost as if it would be a wine something that i can enjoy on a daily basis i'm doing the thor's cider so the thor's it's right here the tap yeah. room and i've got six different ones Tomorrow um, is actually Johnny Appleseed Day and, and my birthday as well. So having that kind of in my in my veins, it's it's hard to really let that go. There is nothing better than having this place on a weekend where there's a couple thousand people on here, and everybody's smiling, and you see all these pictures of people coming out, and all of our friends from high school and, and from junior high and college and things like that. They come out and they're like, man, like how would you ever leave this place? I think he's sitting up there clapping. I, would, I think he probably wishes he was here trying it. I think truly, I think, he, uh, I think he'd be proud of it in, in the way that we're, again, using the science of his background and the way that he knew how to grow the apples and how to really make um, homemade cider. Uh, now taking it to the next level and trying a whole new um, step up from that, I think he'd be proud to see and, and happy to see that you know, we're, we're still experimenting, we're still trying new things as much as we can.